All right, welcome back. We have Jordan York. He's back in studio. There he Oh, that's not him. There he is. But if you, what's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Glad to glad to have you back. Thank so, you. Uh, we had the video. It shot. Uh, it aired on BN Sports. And uh, so I, I want to talk about the experience. Is it? You've done music videos before. Is this different having? Just because of the like, like, what's what's the process as far as it being connected with the soccer game? How how's the experience been different? Uh, it's just I just feel it's like a whole new outlet and like me telling their story and you know actually getting to hang out with them and get to know them and you know just being you know we went to Permani Brothers when we were down there and uh, you know we went to the beach you know we went to the practices so I go Scott. Like, again, like, I mean, I'm a sports fan, but, like, soccer, I'm, like, kind of new to. And, like, they're, like, really, like, it was, like, an awesome experience. I mean, it was, we were shooting from when we got down there until the moment we flew back to Pittsburgh, so. But what's the difference? Uh, is there any difference in the actual makeup of, of how you do the music video? Um, well, just because the twins were in it, it was more, you know, to get a lot of B-roll of them playing soccer. Mm -hmm. You know, we went to the stadium that they played at, got footage there, so, uh. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, I mean, they were the main focus. The stories about them, I'm just telling the story, so. Were you sad to come back to Pennsylvania? Yes. Yeah, I'm always sad when yes. I come back to I wanted Florida. to just spend a few more days at the beach, just laying, I'm, I'm a beach bum, so. Well, you know, they're, they're recreating a beach on the North Shore. You yeah. can wade your feet into the, the, the uh, poop ridden Allegheny. Yeah. No, that'd be, I think that'd be pretty cool, so. For Pittsburgh to have a beach, I mean that's awesome. Yeah, they they do it every year for the the regatta. Yeah, they always call it a beach, but it's really never nearly yeah. expansive enough. Yeah. For you me. just need the waves. You, well, you need the waves, and it also needs to be like like the beach at the Allegheny. I feel like it's it's just kind of like a just like a little plot of sand. It's not like a true yeah. beach. So, Mike, you look like you have something to say. No, not at all. No, oh, okay. I, all. I thought you were. What, what did, what's your thought on this whole beach situation? Are you pro beach? Or are you? Well. I, if you want a real beach, uh, you know, no due respect to your friends in Erie County when you live up up along the, the northern tier of the state. If you want a beach, it's got to be the Atlantic or the Gulf, or, or it's got you got to have an ocean. Where is this? Where is the Permanent Brothers located? That you Fort Lauderdale. It's Fort Lauderdale. literally right on the beach, like it's on the corner, and uh, it's it's a replica of the one in the Strip. And you know, we went in there, and you know, thanks to them, you know, they got us our food, they took care of us. It was awesome. Yeah, so. and, and Brian, to go along with that. Um, when I was down there a couple months beforehand, uh, just thinking, okay, how can we tie it in Pittsburgh, Miami? Well, then I realized the owner, uh, Eric, shout out to Eric and his whole crew. Thanks, Casey Eric. Carabas, is, uh, he actually started, he, he's, from, he's from Baldwin, Pennsylvania. Family still lives there. Went to Penn State, lived and worked, uh, commuted back and forth from Penn State every weekend when he was in Penn, at, you know, going to school at Penn State. Mm -hmm. And moved down there about 25 years ago. Bought out all three Permanis, and the one that the, the, the Jordan and the Twins video did that is the exact exact replica like the one Permani Brothers in the Strip District. I mean, well, and you, you can see in the B-roll is that the footage. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, he took care of us. You know, eight Permanis in in Fort Lauderdale, literally twenty feet from the ocean. So there was that Pittsburgh. Does it have a deck? Because I know it's it, the one in the Strip District doesn't, but I can. No, I, I think it would be okay if they. Maybe massaged the, well, the original. Well, it but, but it's got a really cool railing, you know, that you can okay. walk up. Yeah. And uh, there, there's there's some of the B-roll that actually the Jordan and the Twins came down. So there is that Pitt, Pittsburgh connection a thousand miles away in, in Broward County in, 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 in Fort Lauderdale. That is cool. Uh, your experience, you, you were there. It's an exact replica. Does it still feel – does it feel like the, the Strip District for Manny's? Yeah. It really does, just because the people. What have time were you there? What time did you record? We it? went like twice. The well, first time we but went. What just time like, of the day? Uh, it was like dinner time. Five it was like yeah, five. So you weren't there overnight, so you don't truly know. No. Well, well <laughs> no. Well. You didn't see the creepers coming in the middle of the night, half drunk. Yeah. Well, stumbling the, over the bar counter. Oh, I need a mad, you yeah. know, cap and cheese. I don't even know if they really. I don't know if they serve drinks there. Do yeah. They? The, uh, it's more of like a family oriented one family, but, down but there. This is a, the unique one with this Permanis is there's no credit cards. It's cash only. And, yeah. and, I can understand and they have pizza. Well, you know what? That's interesting because they're more original than the original. Then. Well. Because correct. the original Permanis uh, downtown in the in well in the strip district rather, they now accept credit cards. 
Correct. So they're actually more true to the true, but to, to the, answer your question, the, to the nature. The, the reason we had to film it there because and and it, you gotta understand this is twenty four hours. There's beachgoers constantly, and we when we were coming in, I mean, you gotta understand there's only eight or nine tables in there. So he's like, here this time we went in, and believe me, it's busy twenty four seven. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just wondering if they have like the same, you know, Yinzer stumbling in in the middle of the night, you know, demanding, you know, his cap and cheese. I don't think so because half the people in there bloated are from, stomach are from Pittsburgh and work there. Like the table that we actually used, table six in the back, there was a family from Pittsburgh in the North Hills who was there. So, so it's very possible that some fat slob could end up stumbling in in the middle of the night. I'm just trying to, to gain, just trying to, to figure out the authenticity of the place. There's, you can go to any Permani Brothers or any restaurant, you're going to have that anywhere. So it's... Uh, so it's true. So it, it's, it's, it's up to standard then. That's what we're, I'm not that's gonna, what we're getting at. It, it could be. I, I, <laughs> I can just tell you that we're very grateful for Eric, you know, for letting us use... Yeah, the, that's awesome. That's very location, cool. location, you know, his team, uh, you know, it just, it makes the whole Weekend Dream video and Jordan and the Twins... Have the twins, do they have any interest in visiting Pittsburgh now? Have they ever been up to Pittsburgh? Has this video inspired them at all? Well, a little backstory. They were students out at St. Francis University in Loretto, Pennsylvania, their junior and senior year. So they've been to Primanti's. Uh, they have connections in Pittsburgh. They've got a lot. Of, okay. They still have a lot of friends on, on the St. Francis University men's soccer team. And they'll. I'm sure they'll be back very shortly. Very cool. Now, the video is called We Can Dream. And uh, what, what, what was it like getting that on TV with uh, being sports? How, uh, talk about that experience. How, when did you find out about that? How did that? Well, we went, what, we went to the practice and media mic, as we call them, were there. And we were just, you know, talked to them and, you know, it was on. I mean, it kind of just happened so fast. It literally happened, what, a week after when we got back? A week, if that. It, it's just. It I mean, happened. it's just, I just think it's a anyone would want to you know it's a good story it's a heartfelt story you know they've been through so much and then to you know sign a pro deal i mean who wouldn't want to you know cover so, that sure yeah. um now that network tell me about the network if, if you can is it uh, yeah being, that's i don't really know being sports is uh one of many soccer networks like okay. espn3 gold tv cbs sports the unique thing with the with the north american soccer league is is that they have partnered with uh, ESPN3, Gold TV, One World Sports, BN Sports, depending, and they, they're tar- covering all the games live broadcast, depending on what day, uh, most of the games are Wednesday, Saturday, some some Friday games. Uh, for example, like on the flip side here in Pittsburgh, the USL, they don't have they don't have TV deals. Like for, for Major League Soccer, they're on Fox, they're on CBS, they're on Or YouTube. ESPN. Or, or YouTube, I mean, but but if you but but these are actually live networks. Uh, not as big, BN is not as big as ESPN, but in the soccer world, soccer community, it, it's very big. That's that's awesome, yeah. And I mean, ESPN, at least in my opinion, in my observation in, in the soccer world, maybe isn't the number one. Uh, they may be the number one overall in sports, but I mean, they well, don't have... and there's versions of, there, there's ESPN FC, which mm-hmm. is soccer only. They have their own soccer uh, ESPN has ESPN. Uh, they're all sports, but you have various sports like ESPN. Uh, you have Gold TV, which is more of a Spanish network, focused solely on soccer. Every any Spanish uh, broadcast is, is soccer. But, but but basically, you're saying be in sports. It's not like the root sports of the area. This is a a bigger the, entity. Yes. Root sports is more of a regional broadcast, yes. but but this is international. I mean, we walked into the studio, and I mean, they must have had forty people running shows from all around the country and it just happened to be in miami dade and miami dade in, in miami so. that's cool so what uh, what was that studio like uh, was that have you been into like a studio like that uh, uh i've been into like radio stations like i wasn't there I, the twins just went mm-hmm. he flew down but uh yeah it was just cool seeing you know our hard work you know being shown on tv and you know for the twins, I'm really excited for them because I, I just know that they work so hard. So it's like nice that you know I can help bring everything together. So that's cool. So what are your plans going forward with the video and your plans as an artist going forward? How will this help? Uh, I'm just gonna be back in the studio working on a lot of music now. Um, you know, I'm gonna eventually gonna be touring and then, you know, with this song, you know, it already opened up a lot of doors for me. You know, just not in America. I mean, it's international soccer. It's an international sport. So 
Um, Has it gotten a lot of traction internationally? Yeah, I mean, we were on like three or four blogs. Like I had to like translate them to read them because I don't speak Spanish or whatever they were in. But it's it's cool to see that because I just think a lot of people are like closed minded when it comes to doing stuff. It's like you can think, okay, well, the people around. I mean, there's a whole nother. It's not just America. It's a whole nother world. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. I mean, they do, but it's like I don't mean to interrupt. But to go along with that, uh, we. It's been a good week for Jordan and the Twins. Uh, AS.com, which is a international, it's like the ESPN of Spain. They did a, a, a story. They did a story on Jordan and the Twins last Monday. Uh, no, I'm sorry, last Sunday, and it just ran uh, ran this past Monday. It's AS.com. It was in the Spanish version. It was in the Spanish print media, and also on their website. And we can I can send you a link over to it afterwards if you want to post it. But so the point is, with that on Monday, and it, it's been a good week. That came out on Monday. Uh, the the B roll and the Twins were on live Wednesday, so it's been an incredible, you know, seventy two hours for them. It's Friday. Uh, going forward, um, I just got to give a shout out to Jordan. Is uh, follow him on Twitter, Jordan York Music, and uh, Connor and Calvin Rezende R E Z E N D E with a silent E. Uh, follow them on uh, social media as well because it's important because as we go forward with this uh, we're going to do some more releases ultimately before the official final product uh, so it's going to be it's going to be good but you know to answer your question about the international media it, it's gone big and honestly like I said we were here a month ago the sky's the limit with this yeah that's very cool uh, how does this help you as a as a music professional going forward you said it opened up some opportunities yeah, I, I for just you think that you know when people see you know when you're on international tv and when you're doing stuff with pro athletes it's kind of like you know a new level you know and i just don't want to go backwards at this point you know everything that i do from here on out got to top the next thing that i've already done so that's just like where my mind's at and you know i i know i'm capable of it it's a lot of hard work like i said when we went down there i mean it was we had fun you know and stuff but it was it was we were down there to do business so where can people follow you if they want to uh, to hear more? On Twitter at Jordan York Music and on Facebook backslash uh, my name is Jordan York and I'm on iTunes. Just Google it; all the links will come up. And yeah, Very shout cool. out to Nightfall Records, Radmore Productions, and Media Mike. And thanks for having me.